Alright, it's recording. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Ian, along with my partners, Rafe and Nathan. The New York Yankees officially retired Derek Jeter's number two jersey, a pregame ceremony prior to their game against the Houston Astros. Jeter played for the Yankees for 20 seasons and was a four-time All-Star while leading the Yanks to five World Series titles. He was also named the New York captain from 2003 through 2014 and ended his Hall of Fame career as the franchise all-time leader in hits. Football news. The Cleveland Browns selected defensive end Miles Garrett with the number one overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. In three years at Texas A&M, Garrett produced 141 total tackles, 47 tackles for losses, and 31 sacks. He was a first-team All-American following his sophomore and junior seasons. Quarterback Deshaun Watson, who led Clemson to the national title last year, was selected by the Houston Texans with the 12th overall pick. To the NBA, Golden State Warriors clinched their second NBA title in three years after defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers 129-120 in Game 5 of the NBA Finals. Warriors forward Kevin Durant, who finished with a team-high 39 points, was named Finals MVP for the first time in his career. In a losing effort, Cavs forward LeBron James scored a game-high 41 points and became the first player in NBA Finals history to average a triple-double in a series. Now on to hockey. The Pittsburgh Penguins defeated the National Predators 2-0 in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Patrick Norquist scored the cup-clinching goal for the Penguins with just over one minute remaining in regulation. Pittsburgh became the first team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup since 1998, Detroit Red Wings. And finally, former NFL and college football coach Chip Kelly is joining ESPN as a studio analyst next season. Kelly coached the Eagles and the 49ers following a tremendous four-year stint as head coach at the University of Oregon. Kelly will primarily be part of Saturday pregame as well as halftime and wrap-up shows on ESPN2. He will also provide NFL analysis on Sundays during Sports Center. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Nathan and Rafe, I'm Ian. Good night.